Okay, so in this example we have a particle P, which weighs W, and we're told that the particle is able to slide within a straight slot, which is cut into an arm. The arm is rotating within a horizontal plane about end O, at a constant rate of omega. We're also told that the slider is being pulled towards O, at a constant rate of R dot. Based on this, we're asked to determine the tension on the cord, the normal contact force of the slot on point particle P, and also to determine which side of the slot is that P is in contact with. Okay, so to do this, we're going to start by uh, looking carefully at this. We see that the particle is rotating in the horizontal plane. That's going to help us out a lot here. So if I sketch a free by diagram of the particle, noting it's rotating in the horizontal plane, as I look at it in this dimension, all I'm going to have is a normal force, N, which I'm going to draw from being bottom up right now. It could be vice versa. In fact, that's what we're going to be used to determine which side of the slot the particle is in contact with. And I'm going to have the tension force here due to the rope, which I'll call T. And actually, those would be the only two forces that we have here, given that we're told that the slot is smooth. In addition to this, I'm going to need my mass times acceleration terms, and for this problem I'm going to choose to use the E sub r unit vector pointing radially outward, and the E sub theta in the direction of increasing angle. And so in this regard, I know that I'm going to have an m times a r, which is, if you recall from uh, polar coordinates, equal to r double dot minus r times theta dot squared. And I'm going to have an m a sub theta, which again, if you recall, is equal to m times 2 r dot theta dot plus r times theta double dot. So with this in mind, I'm going to go ahead here and I'll sum forces in both directions. So if I start by summing forces in the r direction, I know it's going to equal m times a in the r. And in this case, what I'll simply get is that minus t is equal to m times quantity r double dot minus r times theta dot squared. And if I sum forces in the theta direction, I'll have this is equal to m times a theta. And this is going to give me that n is equal to m times quantity 2 r dot theta dot plus r times theta double dot. Now if we look at the kinematics we're given in the problem statement, we're told that omega is constant and that r dot is constant. And so I can go ahead and do some substitution here. If I do it on this part, we'll have this is equal to m. If r dot is constant, that means r double dot will go to zero. And we also know that theta dot is the rotation rate omega. And so we'll have that minus t is equal to minus m r omega squared. We can call this equation one. And if we do some similar type of analyses here with the normal force, we can note that theta dot is going to go to, in this case, omega, and theta double dot is going to go to zero because omega is a constant rotating rate. And so we'll have that the normal force is going to equal 2m times r dot times omega. Now, obviously, if we solve equation one, we'll have an answer for the tension in the rope. Namely, it's going to be equal to m r omega squared. And if I solve equation 2, I'll have an answer for the normal force, which will simply be 2 m r dot omega. If I want to determine which side is in contact with the particle, all I have to determine is whether or not the sign, the SIGN sign of n, is positive or negative. If it's positive, then we know that the normal force will be in the direction shown, which means that the object's in contact with side b. If the numerical value for n turns out to be negative, then we know that the normal force will be in the opposite the direction shown, which means it's in contact with side a. I'll leave it up to you to plug in the numerical values and determine which side's in contact. But I know you got that part, so best of luck.